Today we will learn th about thermionic emission. This is a topic from nuclear physics. So, thermionic emission. So, what do you think the em emission means? Emission, it is the emitting of free electrons from a metal surface. So now let's take a look at the some types of emission. So free electrons from a metallic surface are emitted either by heat energy, light energy, field energy. So electron emission, thermionic emission uh, is the emission when heat energy is supplied to materials for the emission of electrons. Photoelectric emission is the emission of electrons when light energy is supplied to it. Field emission is the emission of free electrons from a material when electric or magnetic energy is given to it. So in this video we will learn about thermionic emission. So here is the definition of thermionic emission. The emission of free electrons from a metal surface when it is heated to high temperature is called thermionic emission so the term free electrons here is refers to thermions work function the minimum amount of heat energy required to emit an electron from the surface of metal is called its work function so here is the work function of some materials with vacuum work function, minimum work function, and heavily satiated work function. Niobium has a vacuum work function of 4.19 electron volts. Minimum work function of niobium is 1.44 electron volts. Heavily satiated work function is 1.63 electron volts. Molybdenum has a work vacuum work function of 4.4 to 4.3 and a minimum work function of 1.61 and heavily satiated work function of 1.77. Tantalum has a vacuum work function of 4.25, minimum work function of 1.69 electron volts, heavily satiated work function of 1.70. Tungsten, its vacuum work function is 4.52, minimum work function of tungsten is 1.60 electron volts, heavily satiated work function of tungsten is 1.64. Rhenium has a vacuum work function of 4.96 electron volts minimum work function of 1.51 heavily satiated work function of 1.56 osmium has a work function of 4.83 electron volts minimum work function of 1.44 electron volts heavily satiated work function of 1.44 electron volts iridium has a work function of 5.27 electron volts and a minimum work function of 1.79 electron volts heavily satiated work function of 1.86 electron volts. Platinum has a work function which varies from 5.6 to 5.8 electron volts, minimum work function of 1.59 electron volts, heavily satiated work function of 1.66 electron volts. So, here was the table. So, here are the basic things you should remember about work function. It is always measured in electron volts and work function is also known as threshold energy. So let's define one electron volt. One electron volt is a work done to move one electron charge through two points in an electric field having a potential difference of one volt. So one electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules. So here are the conditions necessary for being a good electron emitter. A very high melting point so that it may not melt on heating and a low work function so that electrons can emit even at low temperatures so now let's have a take a look at some common electron emitters tungsten it is the most suitable electron emitter because it has high melting point but it has a high work function also of 4.52 electron volts. So thoriated tungsten 
It is tungsten coated with carbon and thorium. It has a low work function of 2.6 electron volts. Tungsten with alkali metal oxides. If the tungsten is coated with alkali metal oxides like barium oxide, strontium oxide, or cesium oxide, then it has a work function of just one electron volt. So we saw that tungsten can be used as an electron emitter, but it has a high work function. And we know for a good work function, we must have low work function and high melting point. So tungsten, despite having high melting point, also have high work function. So we, it is not good. It cannot be considered as a good electron emitter. So thoriated, we use tungsten's alloys uh, to be a good electron emitters. So here is thoriated tungsten. When carbon and thorium are coated with it, it has a work function of just 2.6 electron volts. And at last, tungsten with alkali metal oxides. This is this can be considered as the best electron emitter because it has a work function of just one electron volt and it also has a high melting point. That's all for this video and kindly give us your valuable feedback. Please like and share this video and also do subscribe to our channel. I'll be master. Thank you for your patience.